So One Agrix, we solve food security issues in the world. And if you look at COVID-19, it has spotlighted that the supply chain is not resilient. People are getting hungrier and we look at other fabrics of society having so much food and there's a disconnect in the supply chain. So what One Agrix does, we bridge that gap. We feed humanity via partnerships with governments, with um, the public sector, with the private sector. And what, at One Agrix, what we do also is we make sure that food traceability is in every um, in, in every home to make sure that farm to fork um, farm to fork traceability is being championed. And during COVID, during the last year and a half, you guys have done fantastically well. Yes. Okay. And food security is such a hot topic. Please share with us your key success factors. Number one is in collaboration, and it's very important that we collaborate to, f to solve the world's food issues. Now, there is no longer the way the world works where companies or organizations or governments could you know, um, solve the world's food issues alone. So openness to collaborate is one. That's a key success of One Agrix. We are always collaborating. Uh, we are neutral, that's important. Neutrality is important. Interoperability is important. What it means is we must be open to learning from other cultures on how we eat our food or what is traded in the world when it comes to food. I'm speaking specifically on food because that's what One Agrix does. So that's, that's um, one of the, the, the important and critical key success on how we grew One Agrix. In fact, recently we came in top three in a World Bank IFC competition on food safety. So it is a testament that why collaboration is important, why identifying um, the, the opportunity is important as well. And what are your plans for the next 12 months? The next 12 months? Feed more people, um, <laughs> feed more people, help more businesses. I'm not talking only about medium and big size companies. We are talking about smallholder farmers here. They're only, they only earning less than a dollar a day. Millions of farmers and COVID-19 has made it worse. So in the next 12 months, we want to bridge more um, of that gap in the supply chain, get them onboarded on the platform and really help governments um, strengthen their food security plan. It's not only about one view, let's say vertical farming, growing your own food, it's also about the holistic view. Um, can we trade more food? Can we um, increase our GDPs? Because via exports, you improve economies as well. And what brings you to Sir Anthony's Monaco conference? Amazing. Um, I love Sir Anthony um, uh, Ritosa's summit. And I love your tagline, right? Investment is not quarantine. It's the same elsewhere in the world. Uh, business is not quarantine. Trading food cannot be quarantined. All of us will go hungry and we'll die. And it's, that's how serious and critical it is. And the reason why we love Sir Anthony Ritosa's summit is because you know, you guys, your team, understand this importance that you cannot do business just from a Zoom call. Everyone is having Zoom fatigue right now. And with regulations um, and how you have wonderful, you know, uh, Vanessa, wonderfully planned this with the regulations and um, with, it's wonderful, it's amazing. That's why it brought us here.